this is just for me to finish uh, a series about uh, Josip Broz Tito. Um, Josip Broz Tito was not a my president. Uh, this was a man who was totally indifferent from Slobodan Milosevic. Let me explain. Milan Kuchan was maybe definitely was the most violent individual in the group of individuals who would visit Belgrade. Milan Kuchan, a small guy, but so violent guy. So evil, so violent individual. would insult me in front of Tito and Tito didn't act, absolutely did not act to any of that. Um, Tito did implicate himself into a violence against me. He did commit directly violence against me during his presidency. Josip uh, Bros Tito made sure it would all look like it was between him and between the Chetnik, greater Serbian Chetnik movement. Um, like in my eyes, I, it, would, it would look like it was a struggle between him and between the Chetniks. The thing is that Serbs were unwilling to what they refer to as from Tito take it anymore because of the Kosovo. Kosovo was what Jovic stated, his big mistake and the one who was in the background prepared for ethnic cleansing ahead of all this stuff. So they were, these are all the same, these are the people that the circle which moved around Josip Broz Tito. As much as Sheshel was not allowed uh, in the circle of Josip Broz Tito, uh, he would travel from Belgrade all the time. When they declared Tito as dead, <clears throat> and I remember all that stuff in Slovenia, uh, this would be the people that would totally circle in a post-death period of Tito with Tito. Tito became close with them. Tito embraced a, Chetnik, a Serbian Chetnik ideology, ethnic cleansing. In Slovenia, when this is another information very important. I would not want to have anything anymore with Tito, who started all this stuff. He, um, what they refer to as mistakes, there was no mistakes. Uh, it's just the, the guy didn't like me, right? Plain and period. Uh, you know, People who interacted adults during MK Ultra had a fucked up brain, mind, I should say. When they, when it was time to fuck you, they treated you like an adult. They throw you five year old, four year old child, they talk to you like you're an adult. No less than like you're 20, 30, whatever, 40, 50. I felt like. The way they talk to me about, as I observe people, I feel like this is like they're talking to me like they're talking with one another. Like this older people, I mean, this, this is like deadly serious shit. Uh, and 
when they wanted to fuck you from a different perspective, you were just a child. They, there was plenty of ways to fuck you from different perspective. Milan Kuchan knew very good how to fuck you from different perspective. He could describe you as a child, that you're just a child, that you're just a nobody. Uh, or Milan Kuchan could go and portray you. He could compare you with other children, how evil you are. Uh, by the way, children got gifts real gifts, children such as Fayon, Tanya Fayon, uh, such as Bord Pahor, all these children had special funds, really, really capitalistic way to which they would deposit gifts, money, all kinds of stuff which would become legible, they would become legible probably when they would reach their age 18. For me, the biggest fund, the biggest everything of them all, uh, that's how they beat in my head. Uh, the, the existing fund was used, I was told, to finance the schools, the universities of these people. I don't know about this. It was like this, that in Yugoslavia and also in Slovenia, which inherited Yugoslavia, a, a republic, it was a republic, all the university and everything was paid basically by the state. The truth is, however, you had to finance your place to stay and that kind of stuff if you are not from Ljubljana uh, and so on and so forth. These people, to my knowledge, these people are all from Ljubljana. So this was like more to make me feel mentally ill, but they did manage to gather a lot of money, a lot of gifts apart from their education. Their education was not financed by what they insisted me my, was used for, my money, but they did manage to capitalize on that, even that Fayon claimed me, and this is when you will say this and we will fuck you. No, you, fuck you. You have a lot of gifts, all kinds of gifts and money you got. You did have a special funds set on the side with your parents and so on. It was like this with Yugoslavian state and stuff like this. It was all kinds of shit that went on. If Milan Kucha wanted to fuck you as a child, uh, he could fuck you with the parents, uh, compare you with other children, and you, uh, for myself, me. Let's not even get into how many ways was to fuck me, because it was unlimited. It was nothing else than knife in the back. Uh, when in Slovenia, for a final delivery, I figured out yesterday because Milan Kuchan, they created like, uh, they, so they would all look like a conspiracy theory, which Milan Kuchan even take the burden upon himself, because Milosevic, somebody Tito did not embrace publicly very much. Well, he did, and he did not. Uh, he was sort of uh, felt like it would be tension and stuff like this. Tito was like this, that he would create issues, that it would look like tensions between... He had to. Behind the closed doors, it was a different story with these politicians. Uh, Milan Kuchan, you can cross the name and you can write down Slobodan Milosevic. There was no difference between Slobodan Milosevic and Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan was Slobodan Milosevic uh, to the degree that it made me feel even that uh, uh, excuse me, 
I made a very, very big mistake here. Uh, Tito deputized. Uh, he did not deputize, but it was not officially yet out. There would be Slobodan Milosevic. Milan Kuchan stated me, we will work with this guy. You see, this guy, this is a Slobodan Milosevic. Yeah, they made an agreement, Slobodan Milosevic. We only work with this guy. This is our guy now in Belgrade. So you're going to be, the, you are his now, like this. Uh, Milosevic, however, appeared that he was like thirsty for power. Uh, and the only thing that happened was uh, an incident with Karadzic. Karadzic will always do the stuff, dirty stuff, uh, behind the Tito's back. It would all look like the Tito would not even tolerate some of these people. Uh, but uh, the whole thing would he would do he would do a bad stuff repeatedly. You know, they would do bad stuff repeatedly. The whole thing would even look like they imitated even Josip Broz Tito. They would make me feel like they were using masks to imitate Josip Broz Tito. Even this it would look like to me. In my head, the whole thing until yesterday looked like they engineered the whole thing for Tito to look good, uh, excuse me, bad, uh, and for me to see mainly Milosevic uh, as a main culprit. I don't think that Milan Kuchan uh, wanted me to see him as a culprit, absolutely not. However, Milan Kuchan was Milosevic, and wow, uh, Milan Kuchan, this is, this is, this, this was, this is, um, like I said, this was the most violent individual of the entire group. It was an ultimate blow in my face by none other than Josip Brostito when he pointed me out that Slovenian guardian for me would be Milan Kuchan. Uh, of all the guys that were visiting Belgrade, uh, whoever delivered me to Belgrade, Milan Kuchan was the evil. Not necessary. Uh, Tito, Josip Broz Tito knew that I didn't like him. Uh, there was some guy or maybe two from Slovenia, politicians, whom I even liked, uh, but this was about based purely on the violence. What the fuck? I didn't know about politics then, what the politics to me. Uh, but as I was growing up, I started to grasp who is what is. Uh, and, well, to summarize about the Tito, Tito was transferred to, again, to Ljubljana, uh, to Slovenia. Uh, to a hospital, and this hospital, I don't think it was in Ljubljana, I don't know, I have to see this stuff. Something was in Ljubljana and something was not. Uh, he would come to Ljubljana uh, to have a physician assist him. Let's see this stuff here. Uh, he was in Ljubljana. And uh, let's see this stuff here. Lublanski Clinic Center. Search no popuščan je potem v sredi marca po noči odpovedala Ludvica. V začetku marca zbolel pljučnica, žlotec, yeah, that's what they promised me, this is how I am going to end up, that I will end up like a Tito. E, Tito would frequently prefer in Slovenia, uh, he had a really, really good time at, at Brdo in Slovenia, you know, Brdo. Okay, and Birdo Prikranio, Kran, city, okay, uh, 
would also be the one that would have a hospital facility where they would, uh, you know, uh, assist him best to his possibilities. However, this was not the best in his best interest. Uh, even that the people from Crime would die for Tito. They would give absolutely anything in the world to keep him, to make him come instead to Kran. Yeah. So what happened is, uh, what happened, yeah, he had a nicer room and bed and all that stuff. Uh, what happened is, uh, these people, these people, yeah, you, these people, what the fuck? I mean, these people have the whole room and they have visitors and children and relatives and it's like the whole hospital is full of people and the people like this come, I mean, just taking their visits all the time. They never get bored. I mean, I think that if you're sick to death, you don't even realize that you are. Uh, they did not succeed in getting uh, this here. Uh, but uh, Tito liked this place, Kran area. Uh, Berdo Precranio, uh, he loved that. Uh, Precranio. And to me, I loved Kran better than Ljubljana, because Ljubljana, Ljubljana, Ljubljana sucked, man. Ljubljana was packed with Chetnik movement, with the Serbian Chetnik movement. Ljubljana is a bolana. Ljubljana was violent, ultra-violent was actually. So I didn't like that. Kran was way better for me. Uh, so if we went to Kran, I like that better. So he died in Ljubljana? No. Excuse me. Uh, what I already assumed yesterday that it was Milosevic who gave the signal to Milan Kuchan because it was a talk what to do with the Tito before they transferred him to Ljubljana. Uh, and I told you that this is the guy we're going to work with. That's what Milan Kuchan stated me. Uh, I already assumed that it was actually Milan Kuchan who did the job for Slobodan Milosevic. Tito, however, did not die. Tito, after the funeral of Josip Bros Tito, where I traveled with my mother, I was on this funeral. I hear somebody saying that uh, he saw me at the funeral, at his own funeral. And I was like, what the fuck? What, 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 what now? Uh, and yeah, I didn't like, I didn't like that he died. I didn't like any of it. Inside at the school, at the Snow National Garden, where I was, uh, the teachers prepare hysterical crying. The children would go, and it would be <clears throat> they would they would create like emotionally, psychologically breaking environment. Children would be crying and crying and crying, uh, all kinds of stuff, and uh, uh, I felt. I felt sad, not because of the children. This is what I didn't like. Um, I don't like, uh, you know, how can I say? This social, uh, heh. Like you would fell into some kind of um, um, hysteria, hysterical 
because some some of these uh, classmates that that uh, were not any kind of uh, angels, you know, and it would be like, yeah. All right, I'm not saying anything. He was a very popular president. Uh, I felt sad about him. I felt sad. I didn't like the news. Uh, but I continued to operate uh, under the circumstances. which clearly suggested that this guy was not my relative. Um, I, I was even asked by the schoolmates, aren't you sad? Don't you feel sad because Tito died? And so on and so forth. And I knew who Tito was. And I was sad. And in a way, I was angry. Uh, I had two feelings. It was sadness and anger. Uh, anger was related to resentment because of what went on in the Belgrade. Uh, when they started to suggest me these things, I even feel like I would go and hit these classmates if necessary. If the thing would go too far, that, that it would escalate to the bitter end. They started to something intimidate and they quickly realized that it's going to be like hysterical battle fight between us. Like my classmates knew when to pull their tails. All right. You would not want to have that kind of fight because I probably would break the whole classroom if I had to. These classmates were ultra violent people. They were adults. They were not children, they were rotten as hell. And they started to push me down this kind of issue. Knowing about what the fuck went on with me, what I have gone through, demanding for me to comply and cry and stuff like this. Uh, it was the anger that started to boil in me. And when they, they, you could see me, it was better to fucking go your way. I still did travel to Belgrade with mother. My parents did travel to Belgrade before to meet Tito. Father insulted me horribly when I was with the Tito already for a considerable amount of time and he went to Belgrade to meet him for the first time. And I was thrilled. I was so happy for my father to, to meet Josip Bros Tito. Uh, because I, at that time, I still embraced Josip Brostito very much. And uh, it was a beautiful uh, reception in Belgrade. Um, with father demonstrating uh, his... Uh, physical supremacy against me uh, he did orchestrated uh, incident over there and when we returned back to slovenia he said if you would ever go against this guy yeah. he stated to me uh, he was extremely pleased with that visit he was completely insane about that visit and yeah he should have been he said to me, I will kill you. Uh, what actually yesterday made me think about. And it angered me terribly. Uh, can you imagine as a child that you're looking forward for your parents to meet somebody with whom you already spend a lot of great time and you consider him as a, more than your patron. You consider him as you know, as a part of you, basically, as your, like you, like, like a grand, more than a grandfather. I considered Tito as a, my partner, basically, as as a, I considered him as a, 
a friend basically yeah a friend like friend you know you couldn't reach more with me than a status of the friend if you reach with me status of the friend you had somebody who would go for you to help if necessary these kids that reach the status of the friend know this i would i didn't care if it was like 100 kids if you were my friend you couldn't reach more than status of the friend status of friend however only few children reached uh i had personality that was like this i didn't want to have many friends i just wanted to have a few and those friends like really really good it was difficult to be my friend ob for obvious reasons because it was everything so political going back to belgrade going back to ljubljana um what is it the psychiatrist uh, i don't know it was all the psychiatrists who still is alive um This I'm just doing on a quick, on something on a, on a very, very fast. She was involved in all this stuff. Now I am much more entire psychiatric hospital Ljubljana. Polia was involved in this stuff. entire psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje was involved in this stuff and uh, um, I don't have anything against the lady that you see right there by the way No, I have somebody else in my mind, and I'm not going to be wasting my time right now. Uh, one of the psychiatrists insisted, but this guy was a really violent thug. I am now looking forward to meet you in person. I sound evil. Yeah, you better believe it. I am going to have you sit inside of the police car. We're going to go to the police station, and you're going to give why you repeatedly sworn in you will kill me and you will get me killed even when all other psychiatrists even give up i want to know why you were saying that mk ultra will not stop until i will identify josip bros tito with what right have you done stuff like this under extreme violence which your psychiatric department Ljubljana Polje implemented continually against me. Um, anyhow, it was a Tito's curse, a psychiatry that I got on my tail. Once the person asked me about, uh, he said to me, I saw you on the funeral, you know, I saw you on the funeral, 
I watched the funeral, I saw you on the funeral. Uh, I was like, what the fuck, I mean. Tito was not dead. Tito was in Belgrade with Jovanka, remained there. Uh, in the heads of the people, he was dead. <clears throat> Tito had a goal. Tito's goal was to get me to Sarajevo. Uh, Tito's goal. Tito's goal. Uh, it was a popular destination point, Yahorina. Was to get me to a Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, he claimed, Tito Josip Brasito claimed to me he made a mistake that he had chosen the Belgrade. Uh, in fact, that he should have chosen Sarajevo and do the Yugoslavia. Uh, Josip Brasito did not make any fucking mistakes. Uh, Josip Brosito is a Chetnik, he was a Chetnik, he was a Serbian supremacist, a Chetnik, a murderer, a killer, the one who committed genocides later on throughout the Bosnia and Herzegovina, and where he also sent his own daughter, Svetlana Bros. Svetlana Bros was as hateful as one possibly can be when she was still in Belgrade. But once she moved to the Sarajevo, she put a totally different mask over her face. I bet the people from Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Poli don't like this. Well, I will destroy you. I will get you. And I will rip you apart for what you did to me. So I don't really care about whether you like or not. You are, uh, you know, one of those classmates. Not good, the stuff you did. I don't care about who likes me or not. Joe Biden said, you know how Joe Biden bullied me? Do you know what the Joe Biden would say to me? You know how they bullied these politicians? Joe Biden called me, uh, he called me, he used to call me, uh, if I would see Obviously, a darker side of the life, <laughs> whatever was to life. Joe Biden is crazy, ill, mentally ill individual is, and he is just bursting in his own issues in his head. Violence. He referred to me as a dark dawn. Dark dawn. Because uh, you can always see life like this, or you can always see life like this. If you comply with the genocide and get more people killed, it's a check mark. And if not, you're just a dark dawn. Dark dawn. Can you imagine you fuck somebody 48 years of life and you prepare him literally for this shit here? I am just going to go ahead and I will just do it like this. I'm just going to copy paste this stuff here. As you promised and you will do. You know. I am going to put you to the right place. Don't worry, guys. I'm not the mistake. You are the fucking mistakes. Your existence was mistake. You are the mistakes. I was not the mistake. I was just a child. And I know this. You know. So, as I give you more, I'm gonna... This is what they promised me they're gonna do to me. Um, so this is a little bit... I'm gonna go ahead, since I have touched this subject, so that you can read if you want to go over and you want to study this video. Because I got other issues, of course, I have to stress about. And cannot, will not, uh, 
with this stuff because they promised me million different things is gonna be okay so that much about this stuff i don't concern myself with any stuff like this um when she was in belgrade she was one person but when she was in when she arrived to the sarajevo this serbian was a totally other person um she had brainwash and issues such as but they secured her safety in belgrade that stuff went on for several years uh once they secure her a safety for her to get into the belgrade on a mission to belgrade uh she proceeded to belgrade simple as this she proceeded to belgrade um inside of her hospital however i realized it was a very very incredible stuff that went on because it was uh she talks about something how uh members of uh, the ethnic group uh, create uh, that uh, many people are victims of uh, their own members of their group of people eh? Uh, so she didn't mean about the Serbian people. Uh, she meant about uh, the upper hand in Bosnia and Herzegovina. He, she meant about uh, the one who ran the show in the background, like on a bigger picture. On a bigger picture, the one running the show in Bosnia are Serbs. On a smaller picture, the one who is subjected to the violence those are Bosnian people, Croatian people. Uh, why would they do this? Well, if they don't kill people, they rehabilitate them into a Serbs. As simple as this. And she gives a very beautiful definition I saw here on the Wikipedia, where she states, uh, She states, over and over again, her patients told her how their survival had been possible only thanks to individuals with the courage to stand up against ethnic violence perpetrated by members of their own ethnic group. Uh, it's like this. What you see here uh, escalated into a totally different level. What you see here escalated to a medical malpractice uh, to the degree that the Serbs who have declared themselves as a Bosnian, as a Muslim people and have a doctoral degrees, uh, such as was a physician here, which I already had mentioned earlier, uh, from Canton Bihać. I learned how all this stuff worked. Uh, well, um, Nicolina Balaban, uh, you know, there is so many, like in every other profession, ways that the government can set you up. If you have a government, corrupt government officials, uh, or you have a corrupt colleagues inside of the hospitals, uh, and you're doing your honorable job, you're doing your stuff. There is so many ways that uh, probably one of the biggest corruption possibilities that can happen, the total breakdown of the state is probably the most highly that can take the turnover, the crash, the break of the state is right at the hospital under the circumstances in which Bosnia is. Uh, I would never allow Muslim people to work with uh other people 
and vice versa because a medical malpractice is so much forms of medical malpractice which can also take in your private environment of the patient is immense i'm just going to put it this way and these are the people with university degrees which environment uh you know they are intelligent people can be heavily and it is heavily heavily exploited Uh, this lady here, I always liked her physically. They they uh, they evaluate me, what I about her and this and that. Yeah, uh, I did. I liked her, nice, everything nice. But I also learned that they're using people like Dr. Balaban, let's say that I demonstrated you to cause medical malpractice uh, and have their patients, therefore Bosnian patients, who assume that they, they go and they get a Muslim doctor, eventually through the channels directed to, to her, to, to the granddaughter of Josip Broz Tito. And she then magically cures them and that kind of stuff and is gaining a credibility, basically building a movement in the name of the new Yugoslavia in, uh, in, in the heart of the Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is basically with a very considerable number of Muslim people in the Sarajevo. So it's basically eroding from underneath the Bosnian community eating one from within like a cancer like a cancer eating the whole thing this is a lady on the mission this is a chetnik on the mission situation circumstances in uh bosnia and herzegovina are chaotic they are still chaotic if you don't have a place where you can go and trust your physician if you live under the terror this kind and that kind and you're paying for tomorrow which never comes that's what i refer to as a chaotic job wise uh, uh, having the right to physician wise and so on it's chaotic uh, one of the things i heavily resented to the nicolas sarkozy to the french president uh you can see that you have a whole set of also italians here they promoted her uh and so i don't know what good do you do to whom here because of what i stated Josip brostito did not die from ljubljana yesterday i was angry about milan kuchan i even assumed that milan kuchan did his job on Josip Brostito. He was transferred back to Serbia, to Belgrade. I refused to go to Sarajevo, where I had people, plenty of the Serbs, demanding from me repeatedly to land for the very same reason they would use me as they are using Svetlana Bros. So I think this was a very, very good description uh, about who, what the Serbs were and what the Serbs are up to. Because for the Serbs, Yugoslavia was only like where you could they lay eggs in there like a parasite, basically, and suck the blood out of it from other nations, make them disappear, basically. That's all there is to it. That's what Yugoslavia was and still is to the Serbs. Um, Josip Brostito lived over 100 years. Maybe he was 102. Maybe even he was older than that when he finally passed away. I no longer would want to see him, no longer want to have anything to do with him. 
after his death. That voice did not calm me down. Uh, I rejected him. Uh, and uh, it was a blow to him. He instigated more psychiatry against me. Uh, finally realized that and apologized to me saying that, yes, I know, I know uh, I made a mistake. I know I, I know where I made a mistake. I know it was very difficult to know where the fuck you made a mistake. First of all, I was fighting for you over there in Belgrade as a child. I bleeded over there. So I get the whole Serbian vendetta on me. Uh, and then you proclaim yourself as dead. <laughs> uh, and now finally you figure out where you made a mistake. Basically, it's like you would go and fucking throw somebody to the bulls or something like this to rip him apart. Basically, that's that's what his death certificate was to me. Oh, very good. I know I never wanted to see him again. Still, they would continue to repeat and bring me there with a psychiatrist from Ljubljana, Polia, giving me ultimatums that I have to be with him, that I have to see him, and so on. Yeah, there is. People here in Slovenia, Ljubljana, Slovenian people who would give anything in the world to recreate greater Serbian Chetnik state. Yeah. So this is basically a uh, account about the Josip Broz Tito. Um, what else I would say about Josip Broz Tito? What What else I would say? Uh, his family in Croatia, in Zagreb, uh, who supposedly, I, and I have spoken about in the video, I have spoken about the video here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, her father, uh, her father uh, for um, Aranko Zidaric uh, even declared himself as a Serb. He affiliated himself during MK Ultra with the Serbs and have declared himself as a Serb. Uh, but later on, have become for the sake of the daughter. Uh, whom I actually like, actually is a beautiful woman that was supposedly interested in me. I definitely was interested in her mother. Uh, it appeared like he was motivated in that she would have a relationship with me. But the two ladies that you see right there, the mother, mother and daughter, um, mom who separated from uh well from actually a good looking husband who appeared to me that started to see the picture more and more as a croat these are people from croatia you know and i don't know i mean if josip bros was a croat he was a Slovenian Croat, he was, he had a good portion of blood, Slovenian, you know. Uh, if the people like this would not see themselves as a, as a, as a Croat, then I don't know. But they did give me the ultimatum, which I am sorry that I have to put it this way. They gave me the ultimatum that if I would dislike her and I would, would not want to have anything to do with her, they also would not be capable. They give me the ultimatum that at least for MK Ultra to be admitted, I have to embrace Svetlana Bros, which of course, uh, I will do my best to condemn her as much as I possibly can. And she went on to death threaten me that if I would do something I'm doing now and she would have to move back to Belgrade, that I would be destroyed and so on. These people want nothing other than Still, I do want to be friend with these people here. I am interested in having a relationship with 
with these people here, including with the father. I always liked father. I actually have selected father during MK Ultra, uh, whom I started to hate big time because he was a, he's a good looking guy. But I started to hate him as hell because, man, he, he got fucking married to the lady that that I want to, to get married to. So this this couldn't be my friend, this guy, I mean. But still, all right. Uh, to me personally, from my point of view, if I would embrace somebody, I would go along with, I would go along with him. Uh, he told me that he's a, he has a Serbian roots. Yeah, okay, but he also has some Croatian roots. And I think that through my case, he understood how far this stuff have gone, what the hell this is all about, how it all works. Because I know, because the granddaughter of Josip Brostilio that you see right there, the lady, the mother that you see right there, she started to understand what the hell this, this hell was, this curse from Belgrade through Slovenia against me during MK Ultra. They did. And so because of that stuff, because they were able to communicate, because they were able to relate to me, and because they did embrace the Croatian state, I feel uh, if I was willing to have with any Josip Bros family, any kind of relationship, who said that it's got to be that they would or they would not you know i don't see it this way you know i'm more than somebody Josip bros tito became an icon but the hell i have gone through the hell i have gone through and made it through and demonstrated to the world what can be done under the worst of the worst possible circumstances nobody ever did Josip bros tito was only up to my knees, maximum. Nobody in this world I would admit that would that would come to me and say to me, oh, you know, uh, maybe I will do this, you know, if you will do something like that. Uh, we will admit this and that you you not admit but recognize you know your case it was always like from the point of view like recognize you know you could also get the title my title is bigger than over any other human being in this world i lost 48 in the years in the process you understand there is no fucking king of england that inherited the titles or the people that inherited the titles that are going to be fucking rating me I'm a person, historical person in the history of the humankind, one, the one and the only one who did something like this. And they couldn't put him down no matter what they did. And they did stuff like this for the political interests that cost numerous people lives in Yugoslavia, on the Balkans, in Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia, and even Macedonia, and even in Montenegro, and even in Serbia, as well as in Ukraine, you can see today what is happening, and in Chechnya, and in Dagestan, and in many other parts of the world. It was something that would be wrong with me, but it was something that had to be wrong with me. It was something that I had to embrace what was extremely unlikely. I would possibly embrace because of my family, family of my own, which were involved in a national, heavily involved in a national resistance in the World War II. And I managed to survive all this death threats and deaths and promises and psychiatric death, which once they label you, nobody ever escaped from one. And today I'm telling you, psychiatrists in Ljubljana, Poli, I am going to have fuck you up with the police cars. We're going to come to visit you, interrogate you. Yeah, oh boy, I can't wait for you to get in my hands and answer my questions 
on why you have done this, on why you did this, why have you maliciously wanted me dead so much? Why did you, why did you have your saliva running out of your mouth when I was a child in Belgrade with idea to murder me, to destroy me, to kill me? These are the questions I am going to be asking you and I want to have the answer on them. Not that you're going to be threatening me, you better get ready for it. If I was to embrace any people, I would this, but never under any kind of ultimatum as to that I have to embrace her. She's a tentacle from Belgrade. And if you really think like this, if you really believe that I would have to so that I would get anywhere, then you're a tentacle from Belgrade through her. If you relate to her in a, such a great sense, then you're her tentacle. I had an aunt in Maribor, uh, I told you about my uncle from Montenegro. Is a man who married the sister of my father, who was in the Yugoslav army, like General uh, Pejovic. And his grandson is a Sasha Vujovic in this NBA. He got into NBA through this case, you know, all these people came inside of this house to death threaten. You know, it's a, it's a very fine line between having people, accepting people, uh, even death threatening within your own family and stuff like this. For me personally, uh, Belgrade never ever had any kind of soul. Belgrade only had a soul. She writes about the soul. How Sarajevo, where she's at now, uh, has a soul, managed to keep the soul, but Belgrade lost one. Um, lady, come on, lady, you know, Belgrade is your city, come on. Uh, you reported to Milosevic, you reported to all these Chetniks, Alexander Vucic, that are running the show. It won't be difficult for you to go back to Serbia, to Belgrade, where you are actually a royal. You have, a, you have, you are, you are basically, you are, uh, on the level of the royal. Uh, if you're going to come to Slovenia, uh, I'm telling you right now that either way, I am going to do my best to press criminal charges against you. Svetlana Bros. And as you know, you were the nicest, the kindest in the family of the bros, I got into fight with other <clears throat> brothers from Belgrade family, uh, or they got into fight with me, or wherever the case might be. Uh, nobody is going to be using me to put back on the map Yugoslavia. I am going to file criminal charges against you. Voislo Šešer, who, who said that he's afraid that the Sava could even flush Slovenes to Belgrade doesn't have to be afraid here. You will get invitations to the court. You will get, I will send you criminal postcards for you to visit the court through the international authorities. I will apply the pressure against you and I want the answers about the psychiatric misconduct, about the forced unemployment, using a political powers through the Vladimir Putin to exercise against me also in the United States of America, where I became a citizen. Those are the questions, the citizenships that you destroyed me, including the Slovenian, not only Yugoslavian, but also Slovenian and American citizenship, the corruption, the crime that you exercise against me. Those are the questions that I will want to have answers. I want you to be punished as severely as possible you can. In my eyes, you are not a human being. You are a monster. That's all I got to say for this video. When, one more time, 
I am going to say that this this family here, uh, yes, this is something I would be interested in expanding relationship with, a friendship. Uh, I would be interested in learning more about this stuff. Uh, yes, I'm not I'm not insane. I'm not a lunatic that is on a mission to hurt people or something like this. I am just a person that will not allow anyone else, for that matter, not only myself, to be a victim of Belgrade, of Moscow, uh, and, and determine to the best of my abilities to come to an end to this uh, monstrous crime which they not commenced only against me, but also against other people, nations, for the sake of Velika Serbia, Greater Serbian Ethnic State, and Belgrade and so on, uh, Moscow, throughout the Eastern Europe, even against the people whom they refer to as brotherly Slavic people. You know, Vladimir Putin claimed that the Ukrainians even have the same DNA as the Russians whatever that is um yes i like the idea if you like croatia if you're a cross with a soul with everything if you live for croatia if you embrace croatia if you see yourself in croatia as a croat yes i am interested in having a friendship relationship absolutely uh, but this here uh, as Joe Biden referred to me as a dark dawn, this is this is this is uh, this is a pipe dream, you know. Voice of Shesha does not have to worry about the Sava is going to flush Slovenes into into Belgrade. It's not going to happen. I wouldn't get into I am extremely I'm angry because Josip Brostito misused my trust heavily. Uh, angry because the Roto was to say this to Slovenia, Yasa Sotenutko, who pushed you the Namreka Sava, Nedovuce, Celu Slovenia, Ubelga. Stabis, Stache Monda. Srbi su već napravili strašnu grešku u toku drugog svjetskog rata kad je Hitler proterivao desetine i stotine hiljada slovenaca sa njihovih ognjišta što su obe ručke bratski primili te slovence u Srbiji i naselili ih dok se rad završi po srpskim selima, hranili ih, pazili ih, mazili, pa čak i jedan od najvećih slovenačkih srbomrzaca, Milan Kučan, Rođen je u zbjegu u Srbiji, pa nam se grdno svetio posle udacima nožem u leđa. Više to ne bi smeli da radimo, u Slovencima mi nikad nismo imali prijatelje, ne treba da se zanosimo i protiv sam toga da se dva naša helikoptera šalju u ispomoć Sloveniji, ni oni nama ne šalju ili ako ih pošalju nekad nešto to skupo naplati. Nemamo mi šta s njima raditi. Da dogovaramo, nemamo mi dodini tačaka. Ja apsolutno sam protiv toga. U vreme cepanja Jugoslavije, Srbi su nudili Slovencima. Ja sam lično dva puta njihove televizije nastupao u tom smislu. Idite što pre. Ne, oni su čekali da idu zajedno sa Hrvatima. Da olakšaju Hrvatima izlaza kako bi Hrvati poneli srpske teritorije sa sobom. Na tome, nemam ništa lepo da kažem o Slovencima. Žao mi je svake sirotinje koja najviše strada u tim poplavama. Nemaš ništa dobro da kažeš o Slovencima, pa nemaš ništa dobro da kažeš ni o Hrvatima, pa nemaš ništa dobro da kažeš ni o Bosancima, a ni o Makedoncima 100%. A ni o Kosovcima osobito, a ni o Crnogorcima i ovako to ide. 
a djeca, a djeca to su kriminalci. To su, je, I was a criminal already as a child. You see this year? This is where you're gonna get all the information you need about Milan Kuchan, Serbian Milan Kuchan. I have break him down completely into details exactly about Alexander Vucic, what he is trying to do through the voice of Sheshel, what they're doing, okay? You watch this video here and you will understand all about uh, what his comment was on Slovenian floods. I already broke this down into, through the English language, won't be difficult to understand everything. So, I don't have anything else to say about the Josip Brostica. I was no longer interested in having anything to do with one. Uh, this here, this is the watch. This here, this is the watch that I chose for the Josip Brostito when I was inside of the kindergarten. Uh, it was 1970 six or 1970 uh, 1976 it was when i selected this watch personally i selected this watch during mk ultra drugged up for a josip bros tito the one who selected really this watch for the josip bros tito was a british prince andrew this was a gift a british gift for Josip Bros Tito, uh, which Josip Bros Tito even had a problem with a lot of politicians from the West, did not necessarily embrace uh, British royals at the time, but through the case of using me, they even managed to come close to him. This gift was delivered to Josip Bros Tito through somebody else. They used somebody else to give him this gift. And then it was through the speculations here and there, uh, once they would meet, you know, that's how the British royals work. That's how they implement corruption. Uh, and, you know, the person is waiting in between what to think about uh, the other statesmen, whatever, from abroad. Uh, and they mention him, or indirectly they signal him Oh, by the way, it was the British that got you this watch. You know, that's basically how it works. And then the relationship get deeper and deeper and deeper. This is like all British trickery that they used on politicians and all kinds of people like this. Uh, through me, because officially this gift was a, a gift from me. Josip Bros Tito disappointed me first time when Josip Bros disappointed me. How it all happened that I chose this watch? The watches, the watch, this watch was chosen in London. They had me in London. This was the last year in this kindergarten at Ragoska before I entered the uh, grammar school. They had me in London and they had a lot of watches. And it was really demonstrated me watches which one do you like 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 and i had no fucking idea about watches at the time uh they already played earlier at a totally early age with the watches which one do you like which one do you like which one do you like and so from all this from this box of watches they had uh there were like three watches that appealed to me then prince andrew gave a slovenian uh, police officer who was English fluent. It could have been also a state prosecutor here from Slovenia, probably from Novo Mesto. I have to see uh, facially who the people were worked, employed. Uh, and had this watches delivered to the kindergarten here in Slovenia, in Novo Mesto, three of them. And within these three watches, it was the last time I had a chance to select the watch. Uh, the final watch, and this was the watch I selected for the Josip Bros Tito. The first time Josip Bros Tito insulted me as a child, I took that as an offense. But I, of course, I still stick with him. 
there was just so much more to learn about this man before you could judge one or for that matter anyone uh was when he demonstrated me this picture for which he stated he did it for me that's when i understood that i'm nothing special to him that i'm just another child collection just like a watch that was a very very bad stuff he did uh, it was an insult. It hurt me. Uh, the watch, you cannot see it. Uh, might have even been the watch from the Patek uh, Philippe, which is somewhat similar to it, but it's not demonstrated, but it looks like this that he used to wear. That was his favorite watch. no not this one he had a watch like this one here that you see ah what the hell with this stuff Huh, holy shit, yeah. Uh, I am surprised, actually. I'm quite surprised. Pres uh, presentation research from President Tito of Yugoslavia by International Watch Corporation. No, this is not his watch, this watch here. This is not his watch. His watch is this here. This is his original watch, this one here. This is the, the, the watch that I have chosen is this one here. Let me demonstrate you this. This is the watch I have chosen. You see the body, the housing is different. It might look the same inside, but the housing is different. So the real watch that Josip Broz Tito had is the watch that you see here and what made this watch special because i even heard people saying oh well you know it's nothing so special that you chose you know it's nothing so special it is it's um the watch why the watch triggered my attention uh is because of this stuff here this the watch on the outside is more a golden than what is on the inside. The inside of the watch uh, had a special uh, prefined uh, texture that is something that would give you impression that is of a color of a very, very light gold. Uh, and it's got a very, very nice finish that is really really impossible to replicate uh, the finish the very very fine lines inside of the watch uh are the one uh, you can't see that i was looking looking to 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 find something similar to that but yes uh the thing about it is you see you see this is actually a very very beautiful watch when you look from up close when you look from up close you're going to see a color of the gold that is like a texture of the gold surface dial that is like almost like beaming beaming everything is done with with like extreme precision detail inside you know the texture of the surface inside is done in a such a way um i saw that now let me see if i can magnify one for you to see from very very up close what it looks like yes here you can see it you see the texture this is the texture of this watch the texture of this watch it's a it's a it's it's nothing like like i was looking 
on the AliExpress, I was trying to get myself for a low cost. They have beautiful watches. They have better watches. They have all kinds of stuff on AliExpress. Uh, but not for the low cost. Um, even for the low cost, they have beautiful watches. Uh, but not like this. But the texture of this watch, you see, you see the inside is got, it gives the impression it's got totally different, differently figure out. Uh, I'm talking about the texture. If you, if you look at the texture, this is a fine texture. This is a texture that is, uh, yes, I accept the cookies. Too bad I cannot eat them. Yeah, this this is the watch I have chosen. Actually, Prince Andrew have chosen one for the Yosem Brostito. This and the texture inside. You see the texture. There is no lines. There is no nothing that would that would suggest anything like this. Yeah, so with extremely 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 precision. I like that texture. I like the extreme. Uh, attention to detail when it says ivc international watch and all that stuff and below that swiss and the way this stuff is done inside with a, such a precision is done and what make this watch especially beautiful is this surface yeah the surface the texture the surface that you see the surface and you put that outside under the proper corner it's really 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 special uh even more so special because the housing you see the housing the housing is not so special and it is special the housing from the watch looks like the housing from any kind of watch you see the housing it's a good housing yeah the housing is good uh definitely is not what they claim here <laughs> no no this was not from Yossi Bros watch. The, from Yossi Bros watch is like this with this kind of housing. They don't produce them anymore. I was inside of the factory. I was at this place and they told me if I would make the case, they would start to produce them again. And the CEO, director, the owner, whoever it was, agreed with me that actually his manager, there is no owner. The person who did was uh, that that I interacted with with the British Royals was the person who is a manager, general manager, whatever, responsible for. Uh, it's a big giant company, actually, quite big company. It is. Um, he agreed. He did not even notice this. They had these watches, and they're not even familiar as what this watch is actually uh, makes special. And what made this watch special is that the watch is looks like nothing unusual, nothing special. Somebody who would want to go steal the watch from you would probably not even go for it. Uh, it would just look like another watch or something like that. But when you look from up close, this texture outside under the bright sky, nice, is like nicer than nice. That's what actually made this watch special. Trust me, I know when I was five years old what I have selected for Josip Brostito decision I have made for the Josip Brostito as a final decision for him to have the watch. Uh, they gave many of these watches, not only one, and one should have also been for me, and it was stolen by... That one was stolen by the Borut Pahor. Uh, a Patek Philippe was stolen from Milan Kuchan. See, it doesn't matter because these are the same, the same, the same people. I don't care about this watch. I don't want any watch like this because I cannot afford myself for something to define me. Regardless, um, you understand me? I can I can afford that stuff. I cannot afford myself that uh it interacts with my personality i learned that nothing in the world is more priceless than your own personality uh 
I was going to give you some more interesting details about this watch. Uh, what angered me about Tito was that Tito would spend the two things he liked about me, Yossi Bros Tito, uh, was that I liked his wife, Jovanka. His wife, Jovanka, was a really beautiful wife, man. And they dressed her into a maid, and they dressed her into whatever they dressed her. Uh, I somehow have always found my way to her. And Tito was a sneaky guy. He was trying to set me up with some girls over there and stuff. And uh, what the hell I knew over there. I was in a kindergarten. I just, uh, yeah, I learned that this was a woman from him. But Yovanka was a trickery too. She, she was naughty. She played with me and she tricked me, and uh, I, I, I liked her. Yeah. Um, uh, the thing is, uh, no matter what, they couldn't trick me into liking another lady or girl or whatever it was. And uh, Tito started to, from beginning, it was not even, he got the watch, he was impressed with it, but the watch didn't catch his eye when he got one. He was not excited in particular about the watch. It was nice watch, it was beautiful, but it was <laughs> Here they say, what watch did Josip Bros have? Josip Bros had the box of the watches. He had the whole box of the watches, you know. He didn't have two, three watches. He had a box like this, a whole box. And that box probably was God knows how many watches was in there, okay? Many watches. He got many presents. But the thing about it is, he only would wear a few, but the thing about it is that this again was a big problem, right? Because I was not a person that was to be a popular person. I made a lot of enemies at age four, five, because of this greater Serbian agenda. Publicly did not wear that watch. Uh, I know because the only picture he told me that he would make in my honor. Uh, you see, this is the watch. This is the real watch. This is the watch. This is the one. This, this is, this is, this is the watch. See, look, look at the texture. You see the texture? Uh, another thing I, I, I forgot to tell you about, it appears to me the, the housing is more golden than the interior. Uh, the interior is like a light, 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 bright gold. It, it was like something like a mixture between the white gold and gold. And that's what make it, and with the, with the surface, it makes it so special. That's what makes it so special. Yeah, and the housing, I like that too. Um, so, what I wanted to say to you is, uh, he, uh, he started to, whenever I would come, he would have oftentimes that watch. When we would be in a private settings, uh, he would have more and more and more watch that watch. Uh, he became more and more affiliated with that watch. Uh, he started to watch that watch from a different angle. My liking his Jovanka, uh, my totally dedicating himself. Uh, he gained enormous popularity. And Tito got in his prime when I appeared in the picture over there. It was a foreign statements that statements that became very interested in uh, in him. 
otherwise this was just another guy on the picture another politician from Eastern Europe uh, and He became more and more and more interested in that watch. And the time came when this watch had taken over his mind. Uh, he would sit and he would look at this watch and look at this watch and study this watch. And I like this watch and I like this uh, more. It was more and more about the watch and start to wa wear one actively uh, facing a criticism from this Serbian Chetnik movement he surrounded himself with who already have deeply resented him Kosovo that was a Jovic that's where uh, and Tito agreed that it was a mistake more and more they were pressuring him uh, through me to see himself as a mistake in other words, he was not capable to resist. He was not capable to take a uh, stick in his hands uh, and put them at the right place, which in my opinion was even the right thing to do because it was way too late for anything. Uh, obviously, uh, he was not the one who made a mistake with the Kosovo. Uh, Serbs had a problem with the Kosovo already since the beginning of the time. It was a war between Albanians and the Serbs. Albanians who populated Kosovo before arrival of the Serbs on the Balkans. Uh, you have to understand that Albanians are Illyri, Illyric people, Illyrs. These are the original inhabitants of the Balkans uh, along the Adriatic coast, Dinara, uh, with which, with whom uh, Serbs have mixed, Croats also have mixed, uh, and it was just many other mistakes to be done with that they have done, you know. He, not necessary, I don't see in any way that he was the one who was a mistake in any way. He was doing his work as far far as Yugoslavia very good. He was doing his job very well. Uh, other republics were integrating themselves in. Uh, economy was a problem, but you know uh, that was a totally different different type of issue uh, related to many other issues. You know he did not take enough initiative to to have control over. Uh, a good sides of the Tito and bad sides of the Tito involved the fact that uh, he treated people around him, regarding them as a druze, as a uh, as a comrade, as a as a rather like a friend. You, you understand? This guy sold me in his mind. To the Thai King Bumibol. Thai King Bumibol had fallen in love with a story between me and Tito. And uh, he even physically, facially, have seen himself in a Tito. And uh, it became for him an uh, idea that, uh, that he would replace him. That this will be it and the two made agreement behind the curtain and this and that that this will be it and i don't know what but the thing about it is that um, tito opposed to the man you see right there which is the king the owner of thailand uh very wealthy incredibly wealthy just as many others of the figurines on a stage are extremely wealthy, Tito didn't have anything, nothing that he would say, that he would give impression, you know, uh, like to the people that surrounded him, like, you know, this is mine. He didn't want that. 
he Tito was an individual who was uh, he lived for idea that he should be awarded with what he earned treated basically not awarded with you know but treated he was not into idea that he would have the right to possess something but that idea where was served that he would pass on to other people and receive whatever he would receive uh, that it would be the right he would also give away in other words uh, if you ask me in many ways he was very weak he did not understand uh, what the Chetniks all too well understood all this Karadzic and Milosevic and these people the first thing they did was gold watches gold present chain gold this money here money there you know it was all about the money gold prestige theft theft stealing materialists more than anything else but the stuff they did not even deserve they were nowhere in the picture in the world war ii they have not contributed anything like he did and he was not man enough to claim you know mine yours you have the right to and so on because yeah well he was a socialist he was he had to be like this he was a president of the people you understand me A great quality Josip Brostito had that made him, in my eyes, extremely special, opposed to other people involved in Ankiyotro, was that he saw child in me, which other people never did. Josip Brostito, however, did. Josip Tito recognized child in me. Nobody else did. They treated me like an animal, like a cattle not like lonely like an adult his quality was recognizing he told me you know you are a child you know this right you, you are a child so he said relax you are a child you're a child you know he talked to me like an adult but he wanted me to understand that i am child in other words that i have the rights certain rights that apply to the children that's what made him really, really exceptional in my eyes. Um, definitely environment had a tremendous impact on him. Uh, it was the wrong environment for him. Uh, he insulted me when he stated that in my honor he would take a picture. That he would take a picture uh, with a watch, uh, which I did not understood, and uh, it could be differently misinterpreted. Um, obviously, that this company, a Swiss company, a produced not only one model but more models for Josip Broz it becomes evident to me that he received more watches from afterwards from this company he became obviously motivated he liked it and he ordered more watches from this company for him but my watch the watch that I chose that he had was this watch here this was his watch um you see and uh Borut Pahor collector of the old cars uh such as was Renault 4 will be now capable to sell stolen watch for a little bit more money I don't want to see Borut Pahor elsewhere than in a prison you come here and I'll take the stick a rod and I'll fucking beat you up to the pulp if you would dare to come anywhere close to me you don't come here to this property ever again 
you are never going to be invited here, my friend. Keep your theft, and that's about it. You will get a court invitation, though. Um, I took this as an insult. I was extremely sensitive, extremely, extremely sensitive. But that kind of sensitivity gave me extraordinary ability to remember details. He said that in honor to me that he would take this picture. I don't know whether he was in my honor that he took this picture. I don't even know if I existed in the world where he took the picture that you see right there. Uh, but it made me feel that the watch that I got him was not the only watch that he wore, that he had other watches. And uh, because the watch was so special to him and because I completely dedicated myself to him, I kind of feel betrayed. I have to tell you that. I was extremely, extremely sensitive child. But it's that sensitivity that helps the child to determine many other issues which otherwise you would not and actually even give you ability to proceed uh, your identity. You know, I have my identity. I'm more free than any of these politicians. I have my identity. This is my own identity. It's I. Um, these people have created certain struggle uh, which most likely never ever would even become a struggle. If these people would not do this stuff to me, I would be just another person in Yugoslavia, just another guy who would go along with the flow. Uh, I personally, there was no way I possibly could uh, begun to lobby for what I actually lobbied. And it, it, everything turned in, in a direction that didn't have any connection, real connection with me, I realized, yeah. So, all right, so if you want to learn about Velika Serbia, uh, Slovenian floods, which lately took place, I'm inviting you to see this post here. Uh, I don't have anything else to add to this video. Uh, if this family here is interested in meeting me, getting me to know to know me, I am interested. I'm open for friendship. Uh, as for this here, this stuff here, this here, this, this was the nicest one, the kindest one. There was also another son. I did not even look this picture that's supposed to be like me. Uh, well, the thing about it is that uh, there is something else. The people maybe these people are even confused and don't know what the fuck they want in their lives but i do thanks for watching this video today is august the 16 2023 i had to do this one more and when it comes to tito this is like a final hit for me yeah after his official death he will reach the age probably of 100 and the two in belgrade 